Hello, my awesome Scorpios. I've missed you. Scorpio, I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Um, so you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So that's what we're going to do. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Scorpio. And it was please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Scorpio, for Scorpio's highest good grace. The universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio in their life and how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey. What's coming up for Scorpio in their life? And how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Scorpio, what's showing up here for you? This one over here, extra message for you, Scorpio. Let's see. Work heavily on your mind. Work, work, money, profit, income. Yes, this is you concentrating heavily You, you're dealing with some energy vampires at your job. Yeah. You have to be careful. I, you already know this, but this is a great confirmation for you that you're not imagining. You work with a bunch of toxic people. One of them in particular is very fake with you and others as well. Um, they don't know how to be a real person. Yeah, they're showing up here as a cat. Now, I love cats. I love animals. But a cat in a tarot reading... Um, describes a person who is not real, who is not authentic, who will lie, deceive just to get what they want. They pretend to be somebody they're not, basically. It's like they're wearing two different masks, right? Yeah. But you are showing up here as an owl. You were like three or four or five steps ahead of them. You already know who is who, who is fake, who you cannot trust, who you can trust. You already know. Mm-hmm. Whoever this person is, there's more than one of them, but one in particular uh, likes to uh, smooth things over and then behind your back, they are fake with you and talk about you and gossip about you and others as well. So don't feel like you're the only one they're doing this to. They're doing it to everybody. That's just their character. Yeah, we cannot change people's behavior or their character, right? Yeah, we just have to learn how to deal with it. So you have two ways of dealing with this situation at your job either um let it uh, totally completely let them go and uh quit find something else or um learn how to maneuver and you already have learned it you already know how to maneuver uh in this place of employment wherever it is you work yeah you already know how to deal with them yeah you can take that behavior personally no never take that behavior personally just understand that's how they are. You're not going to change people, right? Yeah. Oh, you already know who is who. you showing up here as king of swords. Wow. You already know who is who. And they backstabbed you because when you add these swords, six here and one here becomes seven of swords. They already backstabbed you, gossiped about you, tried to blame you for things you didn't do or say, tried to see you fail. You're not going to fail. Yeah. Remember, your coworkers are never your friends. Never confuse those two together. Yeah, keep it separate. Your coworkers are just your coworkers. They're not your friends. Even the ones that are friendly and genuine with you, keep it all business. Yeah. You already know who is who. You stood up for yourself already. Yeah. Look how beautiful your energy is. This is card of completion. So you're balancing your karma with these people. You know them from past lifetimes. It looks like they were your enemies. And in this lifetime, you decided to meet up with them again to balance this karma with them. You see this? And you are doing things right. So there's no need for you to leave this place of employment after all. You already know how to maneuver. You're balancing your karma with them. You see this? This is a card of completion, success. Yeah, beautiful. 
Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Your soulmate wants to communicate with you. Your soulmate wants to reach out to you. But it looks like neither one of you is communicating. You feel betrayed by this soulmate. You feel betrayed. Yeah. You, you feel like they let you down emotionally. Like they didn't consider your feelings in this relationship. Yeah. Universe, please show us. You've been through a lot. Yeah. Wow. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio and how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey. This is you observing what's going on at your job and trying to maneuver the best you can to complete everything that needs to be completed at your job or business. Wow, something is going to happen. You see, you, you're going to see something happen unexpectedly and you're going to see clear answers. Yeah, so something is about to brew over here and kind of uh, blow up. You see this? The tower moment. You're going to see something happen. Something is going to occur and you're going to see very clearly how you need to react to the situation. You let your soulmate go. You feel like it's the end of that relationship. Yeah, you feel like it's the end. You are very intuitive. You see, you use that intuition. So you have a lot of wisdom from past lifetimes that you brought forward into this lifetime. A lot of wisdom Great intuition, you see an owl on both sides, two owls surrounding you. So this shows me you have a lot of wisdom. Listen to your intuition, your sound judgment, your logic, because the answers are within you. Yeah, you don't need anyone's advice or approval of anything you do in your life. You see very clearly what you need to do, who belongs in your life, who does not. Universe, please show us. Hmm. What's coming up for Scorpio and how is Scorpio currently doing? Yeah, you already know how to maneuver in this work situation. You see, you're going to find something out. Something is going to surprise you. Some kind of information coming through, communication of something of importance to you. It will probably shock you or surprise you, but it's going to be good for you because you're going to see very clearly the truth and what you need to do or about it. Yeah, right. Whether it's at your job, it looks like it's at your job. Look how beautiful your energy is. You're showing up here with very high standards, integrity, just, yeah, seeking justice, um, yeah, living your life with integrity. I love this. The world is showing up twice. How beautiful is this? So you're balancing your karma in your soulmate relationship and you're balancing your karma with these difficult co-workers or associates, whatever you want to call them at this time. Yeah, this is you seeing very clearly what you need to do. You feel betrayed by your soulmate, emotionally betrayed. Yeah, I'm sorry you're going through so much. This is only going to get better. Universe, please show us. This is just temporary roadblock. Yeah. You're going to be better. Yes. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio and how is Scorpio currently doing? Wow. Heartbreak. One, two, three. Three swords. Heartbreak. You've been through a lot of heartbreak in this relationship. You're protecting your heart. You're being very careful. Yeah. It's like you are... Um, very caring emotionally and you're trying not to be deeply affected yeah emotionally in a negative way yeah you're trying not to feel these emotions at times yeah just don't deny yourself feeling these emotions because in order for us to heal emotionally successfully we need to let these emotions surface right to process them yeah don't try to uh, suppress them yeah we, we all do it, so don't feel bad about it. Just uh, see, uh, catch yourself when you keep doing it and let yourself process these emotions in a healthy way so you can resolve them and move on successfully, yeah. Oh, my goodness, a lot of people be betrayed you, backstabbed you. You see, this is you letting go of toxic people from your life, whoever they are, whether it's toxic relatives, fake friends, nosy neighbors, coworkers, uh, soulmate, this is you saying enough is enough. 
This is you healing. This is you moving on successfully with your life away from toxic people. You see this? Not allowing these toxic individuals to affect you in a negative way. This is you healing. Yeah. New people popping up in your life of quality. You see this? People of quality entering your life for possible friendships, relationships of all sorts. Beautiful. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio that Scorpio is letting go of. And how is that soulmate of Scorpio towards Scorpio at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio? And how is that soulmate of Scorpio towards Scorpio at this time, especially emotionally? Wow, this was a serious relationship that the two of you were in, whether you were married, planning to be married, engaged, or living together. This is how they view you, powerful, independent, strong-willed. They feel emotionally unbalanced. It's like they can't find closure. They want so badly to reconcile with you. Yeah, well, that's what they want. They want to be brave enough to find a way to convince you to reconcile with them. Yeah, they want new beginning with you. Hmm. They're trying to find a way to smooth things over with you, but you have the upper hand in this uh, connection relationship. You see this? They're trying to find a way to smooth things over, convince you to reconcile, even though they're so scared of your rejection judgment. You know, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio and how's that soulmate of Scorpio towards Scorpio at this time, especially emotionally. This is them very slowly approaching you. They're very slow to action. They want to come in with some kind of offer. Yeah, they want to manifest you back in their life. Oh my gosh, they're so heartbroken. They're so heartbroken over losing you. Look at this, the worst card in the whole deck. They're trying to not feel this heartbreak, but they feel it deeply. They're trying to balance their emotions and they have a hard time doing it because they're not working through these emotions. They're trying to deny feeling these emotions. Yeah. Hmm. They view as the catch, as the one, as very different from others, as someone of high quality. And was please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio. And how is that soulmate of Scorpio towards Scorpio at this time, especially emotionally? Yeah, they, this is them wanting a new beginning with you. But they don't communicate with you effectively. You see, none of these cards are cup cards. You see, none of them expressing emotions showing feelings you see this none of them it's like they hide emotions they don't express emotions they checking up on you quite regularly to see where you at what you're doing yeah this is them wanting to break this silence even if they communicate with you they're not really telling you everything that they should be telling you but it looks like most of you are not communicating with this person at all yeah they want to break this silence hmm this is difficult, yeah. Let's see, universe, please show us hmm. what's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio. And how is that soulmate of Scorpio towards Scorpio at this time, especially emotionally? They view you as someone solid, stable, yeah. Um, this is my favorite queen, whether you male or female, yeah. See, they, they want someone of your quality in their life. They're holding on to you, not letting you go. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this person is not able to let you go, even though they've tried. They think you're done with them. Yeah, they think you, you made up your mind already. You, oh, you told them off. You sure did. You cut them out of your life. Yeah, you told them what time it is. You were very honest, direct. Yeah, they're scared. The only queen that's missing here is Queen of Cups. They don't feel love. They feel like you no longer love them. I think you still care for this person, but you're trying to move on with your life. Yeah, 
nothing wrong with it. If that's what you feel is best for you, then you do that. You only, you know what's best for you, right? Nobody else knows, although they may think they know, like for example, your family member or your best friend. No, they don't know what's best for you. Only you know that. Yeah, you have the answers within you. You just have to trust your intuition, your sound judgment, your wisdom, which you possess. Yeah. So obviously, Scorpio, we're going to go into your extended reading. We're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmates that are entering your life. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Scorpio, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.